Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Snap Collage app for Windows 10. You can get this from the Windows uh, App Store for a free download. So what the uh, Snap Collage app allows you to do is basically take a bunch of images that you have collected, piece them together on one canvas, and uh, then basically create a collage out of it. So uh, once you have all the images on the canvas and the order and size that you want each um, different image to have. It's going to have a border surrounding it and then you can export it as a pretty reasonably pieced together collage type image. Uh, so obviously the first thing you have to do is add images to your document um, and you can do that with the top left. Note that you can't really drag and drop images into the app. I thought that might have been a nice feature. But uh, let's go ahead and grab some that I have randomly grabbed off of Pixabay to use with this. So I'll start with this ham. And when you have one image, obviously that's going to take up the whole thing. It's got the border, which border color is right below add. And you can reposition uh, the cropping on the image, which is a pretty big deal. So let's, so once you have your image added to the document, you can uh, reposition it. Break. So once you have your image added onto the canvas, you can move around the cropping of the image by left clicking and dragging. So I'm dragging it over to the left and making it so that the right side of the image is showing here. And if I uh, do the opposite by dragging and pulling it to the right, it's going to move us to the left side. You can do top and bottom as well. And another very useful thing to be able to do is to scroll in and uh, basically zoom in and zoom out. So if you hold down the control key while you're working in uh, Snap Collage, uh, you can use the middle mouse wheel to scroll in and out, uh, much like you would in other applications. But that can be pretty useful. Uh, basically, just figure out exactly which part of the image you want to show, and that's great. But really, the strength of this app is when you uh, combine it with other uh, images in the same final output. So we can split it horizontally and vertically. So I'm going to split this into two vertical columns here with B split selecting what's going to be the second image and now that's going to come over here to the right. We can do exactly the same thing uh, figuring out which part of the image we want to show. Probably like focusing on that flower would be cool. So I'm going to go ahead and make that the focus of this image. Uh, then we can split again. If we do a horizontal split, it's going to take this uh, entire column and split it up into two rows. So we'll go ahead and do that with this architecture image. Maybe we zoom in a bit, get more of the building in, and that should be just fine. Now, say that the images aren't in the position you actually want them to be in. Well, you can easily swap them by clicking on the image you want to swap, uh, hitting the swap key, and then pressing on the image that you want it to swap with. Very, very simple and does so almost immediately. You can also flip the, uh, the perspective of the image so that it's basically reversed or mirrored. Uh, so in this case, the building will show on the left by hitting the flip button, which is pretty neat. Ah, let's see what else. So you're probably going to want to change the border color in the top left hit border and you can see down here we can change the hue or the color to anything we want. You probably want something a bit less showy in most cases. Uh, that wouldn't be too out of the ordinary but personally I would probably tone down the brightness of that color so that it's a little bit more restrained. So turning down the lightness or the brightness on that. And maybe we want to add in one more image that could be okay. So I'll do another horizontal split here and put a beach below. Uh, you can see that it once again cut this section into two rather than uh, cutting the top into thirds. So it's whichever uh, piece you're clicking on, it's going to cut that in half. Um, so let's see here. Maybe, maybe we decide that the ham is something we don't really want in the final image. So I'm going to use the replace function here to change that out with something a bit more fitting. Like uh, the tulips seem pretty good. Yeah, that's all right. And for the most part, I think I've demoed all the features here. You can kind of increase the size of the border here if you want. 
but probably stick, sticking around the default at around 16 pixels is pretty good. You don't want the border to be too big and you don't want it to be too small. So to finish this up, we're going to go ahead and hit save in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, put a location to it anywhere on your computer and just go ahead and hit save. So once you've gone ahead and done that, you've created a pretty simple image collage using some resources you have available on your computer and it's completely for free. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in and you want to piece together some images without using a more advanced program like Photoshop, go ahead and try Snap Collage in the Windows Store. So I've been Chris, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.